Hey guys, it's Courtney. Welcome to my channel. Today I have another update for my Pan That Palette Challenge. If you guys didn't know, I am currently panning my MAC Shadow in the shade Shimmer Moss. And that one is limited edition or discontinued, but it's very similar to the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Endless Sea. If you still want to find a shade like that. And then I'm also panning the older version of the Too Faced Naturalized Palette. And they have reformulated or... They redid the palette and they took out a couple of the shadows to put matte colors in there and I definitely think that one looks better than this one. But I am panning this one because this is my oldest palette and I'm excited to show you the progress on both my MAC shadow and then this palette. So stay tuned if you want to follow my progress and see how the last month went. Sorry if I look a little lower. I looked kind of naked in the first intro part so I wanted to lower my tripod a little bit so you could actually see my shirt and I didn't look naked. So, as always, I'm going to start with my MAC Shadow and Shimmer Moss, so I'm going to insert a pic from the previous update now. And this is what the current progress looks like. So, I've been working on the shadow a little bit this month. I've been really liking setting my Sunrise Blue Eyeliner from NYX with it because it gives kind of like an oceany feel to it. So I did expand the side a little bit and I did expand the pan as well. So I've been mostly working on the right side of the shadow right here and I really do like this shade and I think I do have a chance of finishing it by the end of the year. I just have to really wear it a lot and probably at least wear it every other day and I've been wearing it a lot more this week and I really enjoy setting eyeliner with it. I kind of want to do a get ready with me where probably I'm just filming videos or going out to eat or something like that where I have a blue look for this. So let me know if you'd want to see that and it'll probably just be an experiment to see if I like it on myself and if I can work with colors. So let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see that. I'm pretty happy with how I'm doing on this eyeshadow. It's kind of hard to make significant progress on it because I usually just use a little bit on either my upper lash line or my lower lash line but it is kind of really packed in there as well so sometimes I'll have product flake off but then other times you won't see a difference at all but I do enjoy this color it is getting old though I've probably had this for about three years now or at least close to it so that's one of the reasons why I want to move this out of my collection so that's the progress on Max Shimmer Moss and now on to my favorite part which is showing the progress on my Too Faced Naturalized palette so I'm going to insert a picture from the previous update now This is what it currently looks like. So as you can see, the pans did expand on all of the eyeshadows except for Cocoa Puff because I don't have pan on it yet. So first I'll just start off with Cocoa Puff. I've used this a decent amount this month. There's a little bit of a dip in there which you probably can't see all that much. but. I really enjoy this shade. I love it with gold looks. I love it with champagne colors. I'll give you a swatch because I actually haven't swatched this shadow in a while. So it is a dark brown with some gold shimmers in it and it is a gorgeous color. So I have a little bit of a dip in it so I want to work on this more and I've been wearing this maybe like two times a week and I really do enjoy it. I wore it yesterday with gold and that's my favorite way to wear it. And now on to Erotica. I wanted to use up the edge right here, or at least the corner, but the pan definitely expanded a lot on this shade, but I didn't hit the edge as you can see. These shadows are really packed in there, like really tightly, especially um, Sexpresso and Erotica. Cocoa Puff has a little more fallout, but Erotica is definitely pretty hard packed in there. So as you can see, the pan did expand on it, but I didn't hit the edge. So hopefully next month I can do that. And then for Sexpresso, the pan expanded the most I've seen it, so I'm very happy about that. And I'm not sure if I can still finish this shade by the end of the year, but we'll see. And I still have hard pan on it, it's still kind of annoying. But the shade is still pretty pigmented, and it works well as a liner and also an outer corner shade. I think I used it once or twice as an outer corner shade, I can't really remember that much. But the pan definitely expanded, so I'm going to continue to work on this edge right here on the bottom and see how much progress I can make on it. And here I swatched out all of the colors, of the dark colors. This is Cocoa Puff, 
This is Sexpresso, and then this one is Erotica, so that's what the dark colors look like, and I find that they're all very wearable, so I'm very happy about that, and Erotica is especially wearable. I'm wearing it in my outer corner today, and it's really not that dark, but it works with this eyeshadow really well, and I find that it works with a lot of my eyeshadows very well, and it blends into them very nicely. So, my most impressive progress, in my opinion, is Nude Beach. So, that's what it looks like right now. So, I believe in my previous update, I hadn't hit the edge yet, and I've already hit the edge right here. And I've used up all of that product right there, which is insane. This is my everyday inner corner highlight. That's what I'm wearing in my inner corners today, and I believe I only didn't use it once and that's because I went to New York and I wanted to have more fun with my makeup and use some products that I haven't used in a while. So this is a very glittery eyeshadow. This is probably going to have glitter all over my hands. This is what it looks like on my finger and as you can tell it's super super flaky and it is very pigmented though. I'm going to have glitter on me all day. This is what Nude Beach looks like. It's absolutely beautiful and if it didn't have all of that like chunky glitter in it I'll be wearing it on my lid every single day, but it is just very intense with the glitter, so that's why I don't wear it every day. But that's what my current progress looks like. So as for goals for the next month, I want to continue to expand the edge on this pan for my MAC shadow, and I'll continue to work on the right side, so I'll see how much progress I can make on that. And then for my Too Faced Naturalized palette, I want to see if I can use up this side right here, the very skinny side that's left of the inner corner shade, so we'll see if I can do that. I think I have a good chance of doing that. And then for Cocoa Puff, I want to expand the dip more and get more use out of it. And then for Erotica, again, I want to see if I can use up that corner right there. We'll see. And then I still want to work on the bottom edge of Sexpresso. So that is my Pan That Palette update for the month of August. And I try to get these up between the 15th and the 20th of each month. So I think this will probably go up on like the 16th, 17th, or 18th. So kind of late-ish, but still in the time frame that I prefer. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love filming my Pan That Palette updates and it makes me so excited to see yours. So if you're panning a palette, definitely let me know because I would love to watch your videos because I think these are some of my favorite updates to watch. I mean, I love project pans too, but Pan That Palette updates are my jam. I love them. So let me know if you're doing one. Thank you again for watching. Please comment, like this video, and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos from me. And I will see you all in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.